Hi, good evening everybody. Welcome to your last win glorious hump day Wednesday turning point of the month and year. Today is episode 430 of the turning point series and, and we're going to be learning about the power of God's word. Our main passage is Psalm 119 97 but we'll be reading that one in the uh, recommended reading. We'll read Psalm 119 verses 97 through 104. Our turning point today is from Michelle Borchardt, B-O-R-C-H-A-R-D-T. That's how it's spelled. I don't know how. I don't know how it's particularly pronounced. When it's a DT like that. I, I think it's pronounced like it is with it's a silent letter. Well, charred. Because it sounds it, it sound like it is, it's spelt like the name in NASCAR, Earnhardt. I think it's got a uh, DT at the end, so it it probably sounds just like Earnhardt. So you wouldn't you wouldn't even hear the the D is probably more chart. You wouldn't you wouldn't hear the D. So I may be I may be the way it's said. If it's not, I'm sorry for butchering it. But then we have a footnote at the end of the second the second paragraph today, right there on my finger that second that middle one. And then our Bible reading is Revelation 10 through 13. Wait a minute. I think I said in my preview of this afternoon, our afternoon video, I think I said 10 and 11. So I'm, I'm sorry for saying that in that one, but it's 10 through 13. So, sorry for miscommunication. So. But, if you're excited about this one, smash the like button and remember, smash the like, the, hitting the like button will help the video in many different ways. And remember, the like challenges, go, go to this morning's video, go to the morning videos for explanation of what, how the like challenge works. So, but in the comments, but how was your day today? Are you look? And how many are you looking forward? I should have just saved this question like I did in the middle one, but I'm gonna ask it again. How many are looking forward to the new year, getting a fresh start? How many are looking forward to trying something new in the new year? New job, new. Uh, new schedule of doing things maybe you're gonna go to somebody to help you get your priorities in check and everything new car uh, a new vehicle maybe you're gonna maybe you're gonna start eating healthy exercising what whatever the, the thing may be you get to start fresh off for a whole for this year to try to make yourself better. So, but let me know in the comments what your your if there's any plans if you feel like doing it. I would love to see some some different ideas so that would give me a some of an idea like oh I could do that or I could do that, you know, give me an idea of what. But, um, hold on just a second. I just... Sorry about that. But, subscribe if you're new. Turn on notifications. Share the video and channel with your family and friends to help me reach that 30 subscriber mark by January 1st, which is three days from now. So. 
Let's see. I've asked this all day. One subscriber today, one subscriber tomorrow, one on Saturday, or one on Friday, and one on Saturday. And then we can hit the 30. Also, once again, I'd like to hit 100 subscribers for my birthday on April the 18th. So if you will help me get to 100 for my birthday, I will greatly appreciate each and every one more than you can ever imagine. So please help me do that. I will be so, so grateful. But without further ado, let's talk about the power of God's Word. Psalm 119, 97 here it says, Oh, how I love your law. It is my meditation all the day. But, I basically know where this, um, 97 Oh, how I love your law. It is my meditation all the day. So I said the same thing. You through your commandments make me wiser than my enemies, for they are ever with me. I have more understanding than all my teachers, for your testimonies are my meditations. I understand more than the ancients. Because I keep your precepts, I have restrained my feet from e every evil way, that I may keep your word. I do not depart your judgment, for you yourself have taught me. How sweet are your words to my taste, sweeter than honey to my mouth. Through your precepts I get understanding, therefore I hate every false way. And there you have it. That was Psalm 119, 97 through 104. So the Bible has always been a part of Michelle Burchard's, rock, Burchard's life. As a child, she memorized Bible verses as she walked to school. And after reciting the books of the Bible at church, she received a Bible of her very own. When Michelle's grandmother passed away, she inherited her Bible. And over the real, she read and studied it so much that the Bible needed to be rebound. But, when Michelle found out how much it would cost to repair her grandmother's Bible, she decided to do something else, something else with the money. After a friend told her about the needs of Bible translators worldwide, Michelle made a donation so that others could have God's word in their own language. Her grandmother's Bible was still not repaired, but she said, I could still read it this way, right here on my dining room table. And that comes from Stephanie Hill's title of the article is Legacy of a Well-Loved Bible from Wycliffe, W-Y-C-L-I-F-F-E, Bible Translators, August the 1st, 2022. So that was just done in August, that article. So God's word has the power to change our lives and the lives of our family members and others around the world. But for change to occur, we must dedicate ourselves to the faithful reading and studying of the script of scripture. So open God's word and allow it to transform your lives. And she says, to know the Bible is to know God. Michelle says that Michelle Bouchard, to know the Bible is to know God. Amen. That's a good one. That's a, that's a good saying. To know the Bible, to know this is to know God. So, that's all I have for you today. Coming up tomorrow, wait a minute, I usually don't say nothing about the turning, the next turning point until I do all the rest of the things. So, 
But with that said, I love you. I appreciate you. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Keep on keeping on and trusting God. And he'll keep you safe. And all you say and do. 2022 and beyond. And until tomorrow. Peace out, everybody. So long, farewell. Come back tomorrow for your last blessed, thankful Thursday, December 29th of the month. Let the last blessed, thankful Thursday of the month and 2022. And we'll have episode 944, part 1. And we'll be learning about being faithful and just. Beginning with 1 John 1, verse 9. From John D. Moore. And then tomorrow afternoon, after, hopefully after 1, we're going to learn about part 2 of episode 944. And just as I am. From Patricia Rayburn, Matthew 10, verse 1. Verse 5 through 10 and verse 16 through 20. And in tomorrow night's episode 431, your last Thursday turning point for the month and year, we're going to learn how to feed on God's Word. We just talked about the power of God's Word. Now we're going to learn how to feed on God's Word. 2 Timothy 3 16 and 17 is our beginning our main passage but we'll be reading in, in the recommended reading 2 Timothy 3 10-17 our turning point will be from Jerry Bridges and there is another footnote at the end of the first the first passage right there where my fingers at and then the Bible reading is Revelation 14 15 16 and 17. So stay tuned for those. I'll get to those later tonight, but you'll see those tomorrow at, at 7 a.m., hopefully after 1 p.m., and then again after 7 p.m. So, with that said, God bless everyone, and I'll see you later. Or, sorry, see you tomorrow. <laughs> Until tomorrow, me and Baby Yoda. We out. Goodbye.